Hi Capricorn, it's Elle here to do your mid-June 2018 reading. Uh, thank you to everyone who's tuning in right now. Um, yeah, I'm just, anyway, uh, I've already got the cards laid out. We'll start with relationship. Okay, so let's go. Okay. All right, so this is the past three cards for the past three cards for the present and three cards for the future this card popped out this extra cards we got four cards for the future all right so let's go the death in reverse in the past someone was not letting something in they were not trying to have a an ending in a new beginning the two of swords in reverse uh i don't even read reversals it's crazy yeah, so someone was not making the decision, maybe in regards to a Libra, a Gemini, Aquarius, but this is Libra, Sun and Libra. Um, someone was not making a decision, knew that they had to, but just was avoiding it to the max in complete denial about a situation. This could be you, Capricorn. This could be someone else. Um, Knight of Swords, yeah. But, but allowing someone to come to you confrontational could be Gemini, Libra, Aquarius or you were going to someone to confront them with your truth that was in the past just a lot of arguing, fighting people, two people, three people, whomever not on the same page but not letting something in here Presently, we're at the Four of Pentacle. You're holding on to your money and or your position, your status, a relationship, a person. You also are holding tight to how you feel surrounding your status, your relationship, your, your money. You don't want... When, when you hold this tightly to anything, you don't want a status change. Because if you let a pinnacle go, then you're at three of pinnacles. And that takes you to possibly having to rebuild, do the hard work, get the recognition again. If you go to the five of pinnacles, then you're, you're at a place of having enough but still feeling lack. The status can change physically, mentally, emotionally. But the Four of Pentacles is stagnation, is wanting to stay in one place. That's for somebody. Two of Wands. But knowing that you need to make a decision, or you could be dealing with a fire sign, Aries, Sagittarius, who's made a decision actively moving toward a new path here. One that is will alter their whole world as it is. Leave it behind one way. Of doing something or leaving behind an old mindset some could actually be leaving moving moving home moving house moving state presently the devil then that's you Capricorn um, for some of you you want to leave a situation but you're still trying to figure out how to do this how to hold on to whatever status you're at hold on to your money hold on to your house hold on to whatever but you know that a move is necessary whether it's physical mentally emotionally maybe because the situation is toxic it's third party their addictions there there's someone not get being in control of themselves Capricorn is the devil because Capricorn can't essentially be like the devil and you know uh, be out of control but essentially Capricorn has the control you know they have mastered control over uh, themselves firstly and then outside influence that's why you are the devil card the master manipulator you can manipulate for good too. Don't always think that that word is for the the worst. Uh, okay, future five of cups, seven of swords, nine of cups, three of pentacles. So it looks like Capricorn, you are going to or 
you're trying to leave behind a situation it might even be third party here um there are two other cups here you know that there's a connection elsewhere you want to come out of this this funny business over here but also the five of cups could talk about hesitating before making the decision in which maybe that's this is you or a gemini libra aquarius sneaking out on you i'm trying to devise a plan of action because you won't do so or, or you're sneaking out or they know about this funny business and they know how you feel about the situation so they're trying to take all they can take in this situation maybe that's why you're here for a pinnacle trying to hold on because you know this person will try to take you to the cleaners um but a wish is fulfilled maybe in regards to a cancer pisces scorpio you're getting to partner with them you're getting to build with them you, you want to build with them You want real partnership and you want them to see that you're trying to make it happen career and finance five of diamond queen of diamond nice king of hearts ten of hearts wow so it looks like for some of you career and finance um financially you're good Five of Diamond in the Playing Cards deck talks about success in home and marriage. So if you're married to uh, another Earth sign, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus, like yourself, there's success there. Uh, some of you find ultimate happiness with a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. The Ten of Hearts is here. You can also be finding that uh, with within yourself or with another Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus, like yourself. Uh, you know, it looks like your money situation is tied up to um, a love situation also. And we see that here with the four of, di four of diamond or the four of pinnacle. Alright, so let's get you some advice cards. What's the additional advice for Capricorn? Additional advice for Capricorn. Retirement. Okay. Whoa. Whoa. I'm going to take the one that was healing from the past. Okay. Religion and spirituality. It's changing your mind, emotions, bottom of the deck. You are stronger than you know. Okay, so retirement, some of you could actually be thinking about your retirement whether it's it's here now for you or it it will be or you're just thinking futuristically um also this card talks about a retirement of the way you do your job or how many hours you put into work some of you could be going from a full-time position to a part-time position because you're able to and it's time for you to do so you, you feel that way some of you could be Retiring an old position, going to a new company, retiring an old way of doing, excuse me, of making money, going into a new career. Uh, this even talks about self-employment. All right. Healing from the past, pretty self-explanatory. Whatever happened to you. Recent past, distant past, heal from it. Deal with the, the, um, the residual energy of whatever happened heal from it you may find healing through religion and spirituality you may find closure with the five of this is grief too you might be grieving a loss and hesitating you know before actually making the change here in the future um you might find you know solace or some type of peace in religion and spirituality because you're changing your mind about a situation you thought that it was going to be one way and now it's going to be another way and it's just it's stirring your emotions or emotions are stirred here could be in a long-standing relationship of marriage or just boyfriend and girlfriend baby daddy baby mama i don't know it looks like capricorn is trying to move away from is actively moving away from right 
So Capricorn, if this resonated with you, please like, share, comment, subscribe to the channel. It's much appreciated. Thanks again for tuning in. Take advantage of the one question, uh, $10 reading. So it's a, it should be a yes or no question or a question where uh, I'll pull a few cards for you and we can answer that. Whatever question is. Uh, is he cheating? Is she coming back? Is he coming back? Um, will they ever love me? Will we ever be together? You know, whatever. Um, take advantage of that, okay? I'm, the website will be up later today. Today is the 12th, 6 12, June 12th. All right. Thank you, Capricorn, once again. Thank you to those who like, share, comment, subscribe. All of my information is below, even the website. All right. So remember, Capricorn, when in doubt, pray. I am praying for you. Pray for me as well. Take care until next time.